Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin. So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path? It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? I'm not gonna... Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chips prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time the mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chip. Then they use your prism. Or certain mirages will let down their guard and they give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. No trouble at all. Predictable. running around in the prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that choco chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, 
Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. can the switch between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You aren't the allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in lilikin form. The best way to the... to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Gimme, gimme! So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first thing's the first. You're going to have to unlock the right ability on the Choco Chicks the Mirage Board.
Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep! With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Huh? It found something. Mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... Right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now what's this? This is the called a Merkrift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say- Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them! This one's not very cute. Vaughn! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please!
Oh, ow. Oh no. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little, and then to whisk you to safety. Although, it the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Or the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this, sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh. If you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside really world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience away. crossing between Would planes. She's over at North Promenade. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocobo Golina! Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Chocolate! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Chase! Whoa, slow down! What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear! You're in luck! I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Chobo connection! So hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all! Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, a.k.a. Seraphie. My hobbies include gossip-mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, 
I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums. More than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree? Oh yeah, this prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down <clears throat> tighter than a Malboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. Huh? Huh? But, she but where are you going now? Oh, well, somewhere what else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything, but you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules, like water dousing fire and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science. Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help. Because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, Hasta bye, la vista. She's gone. Dude. I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krell for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Krell is Anna Krell, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up.
Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. Alrighty, let's go. Come on, bring it. Wasn't so bad. Let's begin. I know, I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you're to happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep, very good thing to keep in the mind, Lon. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? I guess we're doing this.
Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. supposed to get on? Uh. Oh, dude! Mm. Oh. oh, hey sis, let's park it here. Sure. It's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? 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 Right, tickets, please. Ah! Ah! Oh! A mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so tickets, please. The conductor? Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right the here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In a crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass, and not a lifetime one? This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you hit your ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! <laughs> Mirage is from the Hamushin <laughs> Army! <laughs> Bahamu? What's a Bahama? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Come uh, on! Moose, what's your beat, huh? You have to make it sound like they're made of...
Gotcha! Whoa! What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B.O.? A smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the Mirage already has another the Master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Oh, fire whoever wrote that little hook in. Lawn! Ixnay on the fourth wall stuff! Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. The two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. But, Lon, don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm, like, exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly stop by Castle Cornelia? So, let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've got the direction correct. Well, as... Well, as I live and breathe, I've been around for quite a long time. That woman must be... Right, tickets! That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. What's up, guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. 
Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What are you even talking about? There's nothing more wrong with the way I smell! You big the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. So... The giants from the hills, as in Ninewood Hills, I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things. But yeah, so far it does seem to match up. Um, do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the Federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of Ages Past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you have done so well, you will understand. All right then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think... What he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least, in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful! You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Cause we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry. Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? 